Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ergon Web TV. My name is Rick Utzler and today we're going to talk about the newest member of the Gamo Swarm family. This is the Gamo Magnum. Now I know what y'all are thinking, is it really worth it? Watch the video to find out. Okay, so first things first, let's talk a little bit about the Swarm in general. The Gamo Swarm Maxim came on the scene last year. I did one of the very first videos of that rifle. Incredible. They managed to put a 10-shot magazine on a brake barrel, no additional necessary fidgeting, you cock it, boom, you shoot it. It's that simple, super awesome. So that Gamo Swarm Maxim 22 cal, probably one of the best air guns you can buy for 200 bucks. You know, it'll top out about 16, 17 foot pounds, just a solid performer. Now Gamo has their Gamo Magnum, great air gun. You know, I got some phenomenally good accuracy with it up at the North Rim when we were hunting some, some Kaibad squirrels, just a neat rifle. You know, it was pretty stiff to cock it though, and it was kind of hold sensitive. So, mm, you know, if, I personally, I go for a little less power, a little bit easier shooting. That's my preference. So when Gamo said, hey Rick, we've added the swarm function to the Magnum rifle, I'm thinking, I don't know. You know, when you go up in power, you, you take away something, you gain something here, you take away something there. So I was thinking, okay, how are they gonna pull this off? Well, I got this in. And uh, there's a few distinct differences between this and the Magnum. First of all, this actually has a suppressor. 22 caliber, has a suppressor. This thing's shooting over a thousand foot per second with RWS hobby pellets. That's 27 to almost 28 foot pounds. Uh, that's adding 10, 11 foot pounds to what the Swarm Maxim was doing. That's pretty impressive. What really got my attention though is that because of the suppressor on the end, uh, you actually good handle there the cocking force is actually reduced. So that issue of being really hard to cock, the original um, Gamo Magnum, that's not an issue anymore. Very cool. Now on the inside, they've done some pretty cool things and they've really reduced that hold sensitivity. And what I mean by that, we're gonna show you here in just a moment. I can shoot this off a bag and get as good accuracy as if I was using the artillery hold. Now when you combine it's easy to cock, it's lightweight, produces more power, and it's not hold sensitive, and now we have a 10-shot magazine. Well, let me just show you. So first thing we gotta do here, guys, let's go ahead and load up our magazine. 10-shot, I'm using the Gamma Red Fire pellets. Uh, they were very accurate in the Swarm, uh, the original Swarm Maxim, and they were also very accurate and the Gamma Magnum, and come to figure, they are very accurate in the Swarm Magnum, or the Magnum Swarm, I don't know what they're calling it. I'll look at the gun here in just a minute. All right, so we'll drop our pellets in, 10 shot magazine. All right. Name on the gun is Gamma Swarm Magnum. Now, this is ready to go. I'm gonna go set up the camera. We're shooting at 21 yards here at the Not So Easy Up Arrogant Web TV studio in my front yard. Be right back. That was a noisy truck. Okay, so now we've loaded up our magazine. Drops in just like that. There's a counter right here on the top so you can always know what shot you're on. So cocking this is much easier, at least it feels to me, much easier than it used to be. Now I have shot this with the artillery hold, and you can certainly do that, not against that. But, you know, if you're a traditional shooter, firearm shooter, uh, that's not a technique you're used to. So you're probably gonna be more used to shooting off a of rest or just free holding. Let's see how we do here. Now I'm getting more noise off my backstop 
than on getting out of the gun. There we go, 10 shots. We know we're empty because the little symbol on the mag tells us we're empty. So that is 10 shots off a rest and basically just blew out the center of the target. This gun has me very excited. It's super lightweight, super easy to cock. You don't lose anything. It's a gun, they've gone up in power but they didn't give anything up on the back side. And I gotta tell you, from shooting a lot of brake barrels over a lot of years, anytime you go up in power, you lose something on the back side, and it's usually accuracy, or it's usually, you know, shootability, you know, how easy it is to shoot. You gained everywhere on this, you gained power. Easier to cock, easier to shoot. This thing is really awesome. They've done it again, as far as I'm concerned. This thing is incredible cannot wait to take this out and do some hunting with this. Throw one of their buddy slings on it, and this thing is just going to be devastating on small game. I got a squirrel down there, and I want to plug him a few times just because I can. This thing is going to be very cool. Cannot wait to see this hit store shelves here in 2018. Guys, this is Rick here with Ergen Web and Ergen Web TV. Thanks for watching. So much fun.